Hi, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And today I want to discuss a very simple technique, but a very powerful technique in video storytelling. And this is a process commonly called the L-cut or the J-cut. Uh, they're variations of the same cut, and I'll show you why each is called what and what each one is in a moment. But here's an example of an L-cut at work or a J-cut at work. We've got two people describing a house, and as they describe the house, we are going to cut away to video of the house as they continue to talk about it. Okay, so the house coming up is what we've nicknamed the sliding board house, which all I can tell you is that the roof, it's a tin metal roof that's, that slopes all the way to the ground, and I said, if we were kids and we lived in that house, we would be sliding down the roof. <laughs> I know we would. Because I would take my wagon down there, yeah. make like a jump at the Or a bicycle. Push. I have to tell you, even now, oh my gosh, it's, yeah. it's taking some restraints not to climb Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised <laughs> that kids don't like, you know, skateboard down there, or bicycle down there. And this is a very powerful video storytelling technique. It's powerful because it combines the best of video. You've got audio telling the story, describing the story, and you're backing it up with visuals. And it's very simple to create in a program like CyberLink Power Director. So let's go over to Power Director. So we've got our interview here in the media room, as well as three clips of B-roll. This is the video of the house itself. So we'll take the interview. I'm going to drag it down to video track one. Now, by default, video track one in Power Director is the lowermost track, even though it's the uppermost track on the interface itself. You can switch that around in the latest version of Power Director, and I show you how to do that in my book. But we've got the two women there, and I've got my video to cut away to, but I want to listen to their description of the house. I want to find the ideal intuitive place to cut away, and it's usually going to be a place where they first describe something about the house that I want to see. So let's go ahead and play this. Okay, so the house coming up is what we've nicknamed the sliding board house, which all I can tell you is that the roof... There she is. She's describing the house. So I'm going to take the house. I'm going to drag it down to video track two, right there where the playhead is. Go ahead and drag the other two B-roll clips down there also, although I may trim them. Now, I want only the video from these three clips here on the timeline, so I'm going to right-click on each one and select Mute Clip, because all of my audio is going to be coming from the interview with those two women. And then I'm going to watch the video and listen and look for opportunities to cut away, because I don't want my video to go on too long, my visuals to go on too long. So let's let and them talk said, a little if bit. We were kids and we this is kind of a break in her, in her conversation or break in her story. So I'm going to select this clip down here, drag it over to right about that point, so, and select trim and move clips so that the others fill in the gap, and then listen some more. We were kids and we lived in that house. We would be sliding down the road. <laughs> I know we would. Because I would take my wagon down there. Yeah. Make There's another opportunity to cut away there, right when they switch like who's talking. So once again, I'm going to trim this clip down here, drag it over, and uh, go ahead and move all the other clips to fill in the gap. Now remember that these clips down here on track two are going to actually be above or overlaying the clips that are on video track one. If you could imagine then, back in the old days, before there was non-linear video editing, that a video editor had to actually, or a film editor actually had to cut the film and replace one set of video with another while keeping the audio track in place. That created certain shapes. So you can see here on the timeline almost, that if we began with the interview and then cut back to this video here of the house, that that creates kind of a little L. So that's an L cut right there. And then at the end, we end the visuals and cut back to our interviewers. There is our J cut there, right? So that's an L cut and a J cut. But the main point here is just like uh, on the news when a reporter might be describing a fire and we cut away to visuals of the fire, we are adding visual elements to enhance the storytelling. And that's what video does best. 
Now, if you want to know more about these techniques, and if you want to find more tips or see more tutorials, be sure and stop by our website, moviepicks.com. If you want to know everything there is to know about CyberLink Power Director, check out my books. The moviepicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director is available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grisetti. Hope to see you again real soon.